Now let us write a program to insert a node in a binary search tree. Okay. So, uh, so let us just uh, see the concept here again. If you want to insert, so for example, if uh, you are having a node, right? Uh, then is it node is having some data? Maybe the data is ten. Now, if you want to insert some data which is nine, so how will you insert a data nine? Uh, to insert nine, you have to create a node with the data nine, and then you have to see. Uh, is 9 greater than the element which is present in this root or not so if 9 is greater then you have to add in the right side of this node otherwise you have to add in the left side of this node okay so let us suppose this 9 is less uh, because root is containing 10 therefore we have to add this 9 in the left side of the node now let us suppose we have to insert 11 so to insert 11 what we have to do is we have to add a node in the right side of this node okay now assume we have to insert 3 now so to insert 3 now initially we have to see if this node is not having a left child and a right child if uh, this we have to see if uh, 3 is greater than uh, this uh, data or not or uh, 3 is less than this data if this 3 is less than this data then we have to go to the left so obviously this root was containing 10 initially uh, therefore 3 is less than 10 so what we have to do is we have to go to the left of this so if you see the left then this node is already having a left child therefore we have to uh, add this node in the left subtree of this tree okay so in the left subtree what we have to do is we have to uh, add uh, a node here and uh, we have to see if 3 is less than 9 or not if 3 is less than 9 then we have to add a node in the left subtree in the left part of this 9 otherwise we have to add a node in the right part of this 9 okay so we'll be uh, making this function with this strategy okay so now let us try to create um, this function so we have to do uh, insert function and this insert function is going to take address of the root of the node so it will be node star root comma and the data which you want to insert so maybe int info which you want to insert in this tree okay now after that we have to see whether this root is uh, null or not if this root is null that means uh, this tree does not contain any node then we have to create a node and we have to make the, that node as a root so if not of root that means if root is null then then this condition is going to give us true that means if uh, uh, there is no element in the root then this if statement will be executed and in that case what we have to do is we have to do root is equal to uh, create node with this info so it will be info so you can easily write a function to create a node for this uh, info for with this information part and then we have to assign that address to this root okay so it is this create node function is very easy function so otherwise what we have to do is we have to identify whether this data which you want to enter is greater than the data which is present in the root or not okay so if this data info is greater than the data which is present in the root so if uh, root arrow data is less than info right in that case we have to add a node in the left part of this root okay so how will you add a root in the left part we have to see if this left pointer of this root that means if let us suppose this is the root and then we want to uh, uh, this root is containing some information maybe it is containing 9 and we have to add 3 then we have to see whether this left part is or already utilized or not so if uh, there's some other node in the into this left part then we have to actually uh, go to the left subtree otherwise we can add a node to this left part okay so if root arrow left is equal to null then we have we can add a node into the left part so what we have to do is root arrow left is equal to create node with this info okay and if this left part is not null then we have to go to the left subtree and then we have to check the same thing okay so what we are going to do is else we have to go to the left so uh, we can make this fun function as a cursive function how we just have to do insert okay and then root arrow left comma info so i am just creating a uh, recursive function right fine
so what if this data is greater than the data which is uh, smaller than the data which is present in the root so else what we have to do is we have to add this node in the right of this and we have to see if this pointer is null or not so if this pointer is not then i can directly add this node otherwise we have to uh, go to the right subtree of this node okay so if root arrow right is equal to null then we have to do root arrow right is equal to create node with this information create node with this info and then uh, and then we have to if uh, right if this portion is not null that means there is a left uh, right subtree here so what we have to do is else we have to call this function again so it is insert root arrow right okay and it is comma info so now this is a recursive function where uh, this program is calling itself okay now you can using this function you can easily add this node to the uh, is a given binary tree so let us see how this function is actually working assume that we are having a pointer which is root and initially it is storing null okay and we want to insert some data one by one let us suppose the data is 1 2 uh, maybe 0 or minus 1 okay so initially when we want to insert 1 in that case root was storing null and information was 1 is 1 right so in that case this first statement which is if not root is going to be executed so what it will do is it is going to create a node and then it is going to assign the address of that node into the root so it is going to create a node like this and this node will be storing 1 and its address assume that its address is 1000 so this address will be assigned to this root so root will be storing 1000 ok and this part is null and this part is null now suppose we want to insert 2 so when we wanted to insert 2 in that case we are going to pass the address of the root here the address is 1000 and then we in the information part we will be passing 2 so in that case this if statement will not be executed because root is not null therefore this else statement will be executed in the else statement we have to check whether this data which is already present in the root it is greater than the data which is uh, this uh, which uh, greater than the data which you want to add or the data which we are adding is greater than this root so here in this case the first statement will be executed because the data which is present in the root is actually less than the information part so what we have to do we have to execute this program now in this in this program uh, this if statement will be executed in this if statement what, hap what will happen is because this part is actually null so what will happen is this uh, we are going to create a new node and this part is going to store the address of that new node so what will happen is uh, there will be a new node which will be storing 2 and assume that address of this node is 2000 so this address will be added here so it will be pointing to this node ok now suppose if you want to add 0 in this case so when we want to add 0 in this case in that case we will be passing uh, 1000 comma 0 to this function so when we pass 1000 comma 0 in that case uh, uh, this if statement will not be executed so we will go to this else part and in this else part we have to see whether this data which is present in the root is uh, greater than this 0 or not so if this data is greater than th therefore this else part will be executed and in this else part in this else part so in this uh, in this because this left uh, part is null therefore we are going to create a node and then we are going to assign the address of this node to this else part so it will be 1 3000 and that address will be assigned to this uh, left part ok now let us suppose we want to add minus 1 so if you want to add minus 1 then in that case we are going to pass 1000 comma minus 1 to this function and this if statement will not be executed so we will go to the else part and in the else part you see the root is containing 1 and 1 is greater than minus 1 therefore this again this else part will be executed and in this else part we have to see this uh, whether this point is null or not so obviously this point is not null therefore we are going to call this function again and when we call this function again in, the, in that case we are going to pass here 3000 
comma minus one. So when we pass three thousand comma minus one, so it is going to add a node to this part. So it is going to add minus one to this node. Okay. So as you can see, I am making a recursive call here. So this is a, a program which is going to use the power of recursive functions. Okay. Now assume you are having a binary search tree like this. So this is a binary search tree. Uh, nine. And then it may be containing some data which is five because it should be containing some data which is less than nine. And then it may be containing some data which is greater than nine, so it will be maybe ten. It will be containing some data which is less than five, maybe two. Here it will be something which is greater than five, maybe six, and less than nine, obviously. And this may be containing some data which is less than ten and greater than nine, so maybe nine point five or something. And it may be containing some data which is assume eleven. Your task is to find what is the smallest element and what is the largest element in a, in the linked list. Okay. Then how will you find the smallest and the largest element? So to find the smallest and the largest element, you have to go to the leftmost part of. The, so in the leftmost node, you will find the smallest element. And if you go to the rightmost part of this, then you can find the largest element. Okay. Until what time you have to go? To the left more left most part till you can you find this uh, null character. Okay, that means uh, till this left part is storing null. So when this left part is storing null, then you cannot go to the left left part of this node. Therefore, we have to stop that node and uh, stop at that node, and we have to return the address of this node. Okay. So now our task is to find to write a function which is going to find the smallest element in a given binary tree. Okay. So how will you do it? It will have uh, will make a function like this, so it will be find min function, and then we are going to take the address of the root, so it will be node star root because root is pointing to the starting node of this. So if root is null, that means there is no node into this. Then obviously we cannot find the smallest element. So in that case, we have to do return null. Okay. Otherwise, we have to go to the left left part. Till what time? Till we find this. Uh, there is a null pointer here in the left part. So of of any node. So what we have to do is while root arrow left is not equal to null, we have to do root is equal to root arrow left. And then we can return root. Okay, as this root uh, return type is of type uh, node star, therefore the return time will be node star here. So using this function, you can easily find out what is the smallest element in a given binary search tree. Okay, because the smallest element will always be present in the leftmost node of this binary search tree. So in every case, we have to check uh, if this part is not null, then we have to go to the left of this. Then if this part is not null, then we have to go to the left of this. Uh, if this part is not null, then we have to go to the left of, of this. But this part in this case is actually null, so we cannot go to the left of this. So we have to return the address of this this node. Okay, right? Now assume uh, how can you find the greatest element? So to find the greatest element, you have to uh, reach to the rightmost node. So how will you reach the, to the rightmost node? You start with the, this node. And then uh, you'll go to this node, and then you'll go to this node, and then you have to find if uh, this pointer is actually not pointing to anything because any node which is a rightmost node, in that case, uh, this pointer will not be pointing to any other place, right? In th in these cases, these pointers are actually utilized, but here this pointer is not utilized, so we have to stop at this position. So what we have to do is uh, node star find maximum. And then we are going to take the address of the root. So node star root. Okay, if root is equal to null, that means there is no data which is present in the node root. Then we can obviously return null because we are not find the maximum data. Else, what we have to do is we have to return uh, to to raise to this position. So what we have to do is root till root arrow right is not equal to null. We have to do root is equal to root arrow right. Okay. And after this, uh, you'll reach to, reach to this node, and then you have to just try to return root. Correct. Right? So this is a function by which you can find the maximum element in the 
given binary search tree. Okay, 